Here's a line of music. The notes are G, F sharp, E, F sharp, G, D, E, F sharp, and G. We have three F sharps. To save us having to write a sharp sign next to every F, we use a key signature. A key signature is a sharp sign that goes at the front of the music to tell you what all of the notes are. If you put F sharp next to the treble clef, it means all of the Fs will be sharp. So now you don't need them next to the notes. A key signature doesn't just make that F F sharp, it makes all Fs F sharp. So these notes are G, F sharp, E, F sharp, G, D, E, F sharp, and G. Here's another line of music. The notes are B flat, B flat, B flat, A, G, A, B flat, and C. To stop having to write a B flat every time, I'm going to put B flat in the key signature and take away the flats in the music. These notes are still B flat. The B flat in the key signature doesn't just make those Bs B flat, it makes all Bs B flats. This key signature says that all Fs and all Cs will be F sharp and C sharp. If I want this note to be a normal C, I have to put a natural sign next to it. This note is a C sharp though, because the bar line resets it to the key signature. These key signatures have special names. You don't need to know what the names mean, you just need to know what they are. The key signature with F sharp looks like this on the treble clef, and like this on the bass clef, and it's called G major. The key signature with B flat looks like this on the treble clef, and like this on the bass clef. It's called F major. The key signature with F sharp and C sharp looks like this on the treble clef, and looks like this on the bass clef, and it's called D major. The most common key though has no sharps or flats, and it's called C major.